European Redsland has a unique view of STEM FedEx ahead of the latter's one interim atom weight MMA world title clash against South Korean Starham Seo Hee. Ji Hin lost to STEM after three intense rounds at one fight night, two on Prime Video. But now, she's a crucial part of her old rival's training camp for the main event of One Fight Night 14 on Prime Video on Friday, September 29. The pair started working together at Fairtex Training Center in Thailand after their 15-minute war last October. And Jihin is back in Putaya to help the Thai prepare for her US primetime contest in Singapore. Shadow Cat has experienced both sides of the number one ranked atomweight MMA contender. But she's glad they struck up a friendship, one that's both fun and productive. Jihin told 1FC.com. STEM is well balanced. She knows how to goof around, but then be serious at the same time. Having experienced training at Fairtex as her training partner, I can tell you, it's never a boring day. We play before training, joke around, and mess around, but we are date serious during sparring or drilling. We can just switch our focus when we are trying to master our techniques. It really does help being able to joke around. I think we should have these little moments during a training session because it calms us down. I really like having these funny moments with STEM, dancing, eating, training, and everything else. STEM's fun-loving demeanor is one of the qualities that have made her a fan favorite across the globe. With regular videos on social media showing her lighter side. However, Jihin has also seen what most don't, the unrelenting daily grind that helped the Fatex megastar become a one atom weight Muay Thai and kickboxing world champion. And the one atom weight MMA world Grand Prix champion. That dedication is the biggest reason why the Malaysian thinks her friend and training partner will become an unprecedented three spot queen in her next fight. Jihin said. Stam's biggest strength is her striking. That's the common one. But if I have to go into more detail, I say it's her determination and eagerness to improve. That's something you don't see in the ring or circle. But having spent hours training with her, I would say that's her strength and it's even bigger than her striking. She knows when to play around or be serious, but most of the time, you can see she's very hungry for the world title, and she will be the first and only to sweep all the world titles. With longtime, one atom weight MMA world champion Angela Lee still deciding on her future. Number one ranked Stam Fatex and number two ranked Ham Seo, he will duke it out for the interim divisional goal at one fight night 14. Ham is one of the toughest and most experienced women's MMA competitors in the world. And she'll bring a 9-fight winning streak into this world title matchup. With that in mind, Jihin Ratsuan, no STEM, will have her hands full on September 29. And given that both athletes will bring fierce stand-up skills to the circle. Shadow Cat can't wait to see how it plays out. She said. One has gotten two of the best fighters in the division to meet. Both are deserving of the chance to fight for the interim world title. I think Stamp enters this contest with plenty of confidence, and she's going to show it. Ham, being a veteran, it's hard to count her out. Both will come to fight, and I'm excited for it. It's hard for me to say how it will go but I believe that this is going to be both of them toe-to-toe -to -toe standing and striking, with Stam going forward, while Ham tries to attack from the back foot. Jihee knows that both sides will bring their best in Singapore, but she simply can't look past Stam's striking pedigree. Although she won't write off Ham Zang completely, the Malaysian believes her training partner will ultimately emerge victorious and become an unprecedented three-sport world champion. She added. I do not want to jinx anything. But I can see Stam winning by knockout. However, 
With Ham's experience and expertise, I think she'll have to dig deep to earn it. Still, I won't count her out from knocking out Ham, because she has a lot of ways that she can be dangerous. As her win over Elise Anderson showed. However, if Ham decides to play safe, I think the match will end up becoming a 5 round fight. Even if it goes the distance, I'm confident Stem will defeat Ham.